All right, guys, so you're probably wondering a couple of things. One, where's Devin? Devin's not here. Devin's working somewhere. I think he's, he's at NAB. Devin is at the Glide Camp booth at NAB right now. And two, why am I talking to you? Three, why are we in my car? So I got myself, I got Tyson here helping me out. We're doing a little location scout. So we did our production videos, tutorials, and after watching them, I decided that I gave you guys I'm speeding. I gave you guys crap advice. I'm just gonna call it what it is. Cause I was like, location scouting is really hard. It's it's my least favorite thing to do. So if you have money, just hire a location manager cause they're the best at it. And then I thought to myself, I've produced a crazy amount of videos. I've used a location scout twice. And so I was like, that, that, that's awful. We gotta, we gotta redo that. So today we're taking you through the actual location scout on an upcoming shoot. I think I can tell you guys what it is, but I'm not sure, so I'm just not going to. But it involves a lot of cosplay and an awesome video game. And Devin did a casting call about it last week, so you can guess what we're doing. Hold on. Hit the curb. Uh, I'm going to take you through the steps of what I do for a location scout. And I, we're driving to a location right now. We can't film there, so we're not gonna show that, but I'm gonna show you the process before because a lot of my location scouts, I can't actually go to the location. It's in a different state or a different country. So the first thing that you guys need to do, especially if you're filming in the United States, go to your film commission website. Every state in, in the USA has a film commission website and it's a great resource. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip to that right now. And so here I am on the website, this was earlier, but as you can see they have a place where you can search locations. So you search the locations, you type in the keyword that you wanna use and they have thousands and thousands of pictures for you to look at. And I mean, that's such a time saver. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You you can see it all online without having to drive to it or fly to it or pay for someone else to go take pictures of it. It's a great resource. As you can see, I'm using it now, flipping through pictures, finding contact information, okay? So once you have the contact information, then you guys just have to start reaching out. You have to start getting on the phone to do the legwork to find your location. So I actually recorded a bunch of phone calls that I made before we got in the car. Um, I just recorded the audio, so we're gonna have to just flip to some cool B-roll, maybe a time lapse of me and Tyson driving in the car while we listen to that audio. But I wanted to give you guys a good idea of the information that you need when you call these places. So you're gonna hear it on the phone call, and I didn't always record their voice as well because I didn't want to. I didn't really want to get into that of asking them permission to put their voice on. Anyway, but you hear what I'm asking and, and what I'm saying is the most important part. Hi, yes, I was just interested in inquiring about a, a, a commercial film shoot at Trolley Square. I don't know if you guys are open to that or not. So a couple things they're always gonna want to, they're always going to need to know. Yeah, this car is gonna hit me. Is what's your creative? What do you want to do at my property? Okay, so so that's really tricky for me because that's when I have to break it to them that we're doing crazy stunts and they usually tell me no. And you're gonna hear a lot of people tell me no on the phone calls. Um, it's for it's uh, it's for a digital. Um, YouTube commercial. I mean, we're not doing anything crazy, just kind of um, like walking, running around outside a little short narrative. Is this something that typically is um, doable or it kind of just depends? Okay, so they're gonna wanna know your creative. The second thing that they want to know is your crew size. That's always an important aspect to them. How many people are gonna be here? What resources do you need? Do you need electrical? Do you need water? Every resource that you need on their location, they wanna know about because your crew size and the resources that you're gonna take, that affects, that affects the, the price of the location. Another thing that they usually ask for is production company insurance. I know this doesn't apply to to most of you, but I'm just going to say it because most locations, they don't want to be held responsible if something goes wrong. If you're just going there to take pictures, usually that's fine. But if you start doing parkour stunts or you know any sort of crazy thing that you're filming, they don't want to be liable for anyone getting hurt on location, so they're going to ask you for production company insurance, and you have to provide that. Not gonna go into that. 
Uh, and I'm not gonna go into that into any more detail. If you have questions about it, comment below, but we're done with the insurance talk. Okay, so the next thing they're going to ask is your budget. Sometimes that conversation is who, who will speak first? Who says the number first? So if they, they ask me, what's your, what's your location budget? And I say $500, then they might say, okay, guess what? My fee is $500. When in reality, they would have done it for free, but they just wanted to know if I had a location budget. Do you think you can do to talk about they want your budget? So that's kind of a game you guys are going to have to learn to play. It's my least favorite game, but I have to play it every day as far as who will say number first. That goes for working with brands as well. Um, yeah, so just, just be aware of that. And if you don't have any money, tell them. And what I would say if you don't have any money for, for your production is, hey, look, I have zero budget, I'm making this film by myself, but what I can get you is exposure. Locations love exposure. Even if it's not promoting their business, but it's promoting their location for other films. If people look at, look at a YouTube video and think, oh my gosh, this guy filmed here, I can go film there too. Locations love that. So I would leverage that. I would say, this is my following, this is how many people are going to see the video and I'm going to promote your location as much as I can in exchange that you let me use it. It's a great tool. We use it a lot. Alright guys, so we just got to another location. I actually don't think we can park here. There's no parking sign right there. Yeah, we'll be quick. Um, but I just wanted to end and say, you know what? I'm going to go see how this goes and then I know we can't film in here right now and then we're going to come back and I'm going to tell you about it. the word dog they said no I'm super mad right now I've been location scouting this for like a week oh, this always happens getting a location is the worst thing in the world um, I'm not surprised they said no but I'm just starting to kind of get a little worried because we have about two and a half weeks until we shoot um, I'm leaving in a day for four days and I won't be able to work on any of this um, I think I've been told by like 11, told no by 11 people. Um, cut to those stupid phone conversations right now. So we, we cannot shoot there. That is super unfortunate. I really appreciate the time though. Have a good day. Alrighty. Uh, that's understandable. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. We will keep looking. So you guys get the idea. Um, I was really wishing in this tutorial that I could show you the victory, but that's not going to happen. Um, I'm not really surprised this is just how it goes, so I mean you guys are going to run into the same problems and yeah I think we're going to have to stop focusing on the tutorial and go find a location. So have any questions let me know, over and out. Yeah. Wham, bam, super tramp. And I tip it up my hat while I boost the fans. And I have a rough time, can you feel the noise? All the girls scream mad cause they want the boys. Yo, Megan on the clouds looking like a big joke when I run so fast and I sing so low. And you never wanna mess with me, you're just testing me. I just set me free, so just stop. We cool, we hot, we fresh.